Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to walk you through some of the basics to set up your own online portfolio for our Telling Stories with Data class. Um, one of the great things about uh, GitHub is that you can actually host your own simple websites, um, web pages that is, on GitHub. And uh, for, for the purpose of this class, a lot of the data visualizations that we will be building will be in things like iframes and so on and so forth. So um, having a convenient place where we can post some of our work for free uh, is, is a real plus. So um, this video assumes that you've already completed the tutorial. If you have not, I suggest you go ahead and do that as it covers a few things that I'm not going to cover here. Um, but first things first, um, once you are in GitHub, go ahead and log in. And once you are logged in, you should see your user icon up in the upper right hand corner, kind of like I have here. And we're simply going to go to our profile page first. So I click on the carrot and I click on profile. That'll take me here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on this repositories tab here. And so doing so, I'll see that in the upper right hand corner, I'll have this option to set up a new repository by clicking on the screen button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And basically what a repository is, is it's best, um, I, I find it's useful to think of it as, as kind of a file folder on your machine or something like that. Uh, and actually, if you end up cloning a repo or, or get into such things with GitHub, that's basically what you're going to get um, on your own machine when you do that. And so first things first, we're just going to uh, set up a repository name. And so for this repository name, let's go ahead and just call this, um, let's call this, uh, let's see, CMU student repository. And if I have this green check mark here, it means that I don't have anything else named that. So it looks good. I'm gonna give it a short description here. All right. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, access uh, clicked here as public so that uh, everyone in the class and um, anywhere else can, can, of course, see our work. And I'm going to check this box down here uh, to initialize the repository with a readme, which basically just means it's going to um, do a few things to set up our repository, including creating a readme.md file. So next thing, uh, I'm sorry, for, for this step, if you want to select a, a license, you can certainly do so here. And we're going to go ahead and click Create Repository. And there we go. So first steps are complete. Now that I have my new repository, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and we want to uh, set up a few things uh, so that this page, this readme, basically any of the content that I have here will be um, publicly accessible as a web page. So. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, go up here to the upper uh, right and click on the settings uh, tab. And if I scroll down in my settings pretty close to the bottom to where I see GitHub pages, um, what we're going to do is basically enable that. And GitHub pages is uh, basically a, a built-in uh, capability within GitHub uh, to host um, our source and uh, so I can, I can do this by uh, clicking on this carrot next to none and clicking on master branch. And then uh, important step here, I just need to click save. Now, once I've done that, if I scroll right back down here, I'll see that I have that, uh, that site now includes a URL and the URL is essentially uh, my username. So cmustudent.github.io along with a repo name. And if I, click on this to open in another tab, we'll see now that um, my README page is now actually in a publicly accessible um, web page. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now uh, the next steps here are that um, there are a few um, items here that I want to do just to get my portfolio page set up. And this involves doing a little bit of work with Markdown. So next thing I'm going to do is go back to GitHub and click on this code tab here in the upper left hand corner and you'll see of course now I've only got one file in my repo right now it's just this readme.md and if I click on this pencil in the upper uh, right hand corner of the readme.md um, 
file, I will now see a page that I can start editing. Um, and I've included in the uh, materials uh, sort of a cheat sheet for Markdown. Markdown is pretty easy to use uh, to create a new heading or a new header. I just simply um, do something like this. So I'm creating a new heading called About Me. And I'll do another one, say, uh, Now you can you can take a look at the cheat sheet and alternate your heading some based on um, if I want to make this like a, a heading to I can do something like that and then finally let's do a portfolio here all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this uh, actually before I save it um, I'm gonna do one more thing that you actually don't have to do uh, for this assignment, but I uh, just quickly want to kind of show how it works uh, so you get a sense of what you'll be doing in the future. Um, I've created this uh, graphic for global CO2 emissions using the very handy data wrapper tool. And one thing that you'll notice here is that I have this uh, copy embed code um, option here for my iframe, right? So basically when you see something like this, and this is a fairly common um, option, fortunately, and a lot of the tools we're going to be using, I can simply copy that HTML code. And if I go back to my page, I can simply paste that here and go down to the bottom. I need to commit my changes, so I'll go ahead and add a little note here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and commit directly to the master branch. Commit changes. All right, and there we go. So in my README, my page will look like this. Don't worry, it's not broken. Um, when I give it a second and I go to my um, hosted page, it will now um, update. So let's go ahead and go to that page. So again, this is the URL that I had uh, found before after um, I turned on the option to use GitHub Pages, and if I refresh, I'll have my new page. So pretty cool, right? And that is uh, interactive as well. So um, that's it. That should do it. So again, for the for the actual assignment, you don't need to worry about this this piece here. I just wanted to include that just so you can kind of see the options and, and kind of where we're headed. Uh, you really only need these uh, first four parts. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if not, certainly post questions online and uh, I will do my best to uh, answer them. Thanks.